Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Let me just tighten the camera up a bit. Uh, now we're looking here at my um, Cold Hardy Satsuma Unshu Mikan. Now for anybody that has got really good memory and obsessed with citrus, you might remember that last winter um, this one completely just after I got the summer house, I put it in the summer house and this one absolutely totally defoliated and I was just left with a, a plant of pure bare stems. Now I don't know whether it was the shock of going from the cold outside into the warmer summer house or if I overwatered it or underwatered it but it, it really did suffer it really did suffer badly last uh, winter but during the course of the summer it regrew most of its stems it did actually flower as well outside uh, and now it's it's really and truthfully made a full recovery um, now for whatever reason this one has suffered absolutely no pests on it whatsoever in the summer house whereas some of the others oh, well that was there that sounded loud i don't know um why but some of the other citrus have absolutely been plagued by a green fly in the summer house and yet this one has got no green fly it's had no mildew or sooty mold on it it's had no uh, scale insects no mealy bugs no spider mites nothing whatsoever it seems to be completely resistant to anything and it's now producing loads and loads as you can see of flower buds so i think it's going to flower very heavily to be honest i've no idea if it'll set fruit um i'm planning to keep it outside now for the rest of the summer i see no reason to spray it because i can't see any pests on it and as it is one of the more cold resistant ones i don't think we've got to worry about any likelihood of frost damage to it although if we look like getting a very bad frost i might uh, i might at that point bring it inside because it'd be a shame to lose the flowers but as i said it seems to have no real pests on it at all there's a caterpillar there which i'm just going to get rid of do seem to have had the odd moth lay eggs in here and the odd caterpillar little silky ones that form little silk they film little silk cocoons on the leaves but to be honest i haven't exactly munched it because there are no leaves that appear to have any damage on them so it's not uh, not been causing a, a serious problem having the old caterpillar on there but they're moth caterpillars anyway so we don't need to encourage them so i said that's my cold hardy satsuma bunshu uh what is it, what is it? bunshu mikan uh, don't know much about the variety but i believe it's one that should uh fruit on this size plants so we'll have to wait and see what happens so thanks for watching it is the only satsuma i've got uh Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Obviously, you can uh, share it if you think anyone might be interested in this particular plant. Uh, please do uh, subscribe to my channel if uh, you're interested in anything that I'm trying to grow here in the UK or live in similar climates in other parts of the world. And uh, remember to click on the uh, bell if you'd like to get updates on new videos as they come out, which will, of course, include updates on this sat zoom as to whether or not it flowers and sets any fruit. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.